Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Time up. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the training. Hello, hello. Yes. Uh, yeah. Just in case, let some of you expand to what's going on today. Huh? <laughs> uh, hello, Zooms. Okay, this is. Uh, we are training face to face, and no one seeing you. <laughs> we just see each other. Hello, YouTube. And uh, today we are also stream on out of YouTube. So hello YouTube, I hope you can follow the training and enjoy the training. And so YouTube only can see me, okay? And some of uh, maybe Instagram, I'm trying. <laughs> Use high technology to try to uh, go to different platform as possible. And so maybe Instagram, you only can see this area. <laughs> if I come here, you're going to be miss me. So if you can, you can shift into the YouTube channel, and then you can see the whole form uh, video, you uh, can see my whole pictures. Over than that, it's all the welcome to join me. Today is our fourth session for level one. Okay, this is like uh, I designed the program. We condense the, all the level one information that necessary have to be trained content to we try to complete in 10 sessions. Okay, we aim for 10 sessions to complete this important training. Okay, we want to be more efficient, all right, and we more smart training, but at the same time, we don't want to lose the essence. So what are we trying to do, certain must do or necessary to do, and we bring to here. And some things we optional, you can try and you can choose that later on for yourself to choose. So in these 10 sessions, most of the thing we're going to achieve is the stretching, the kicks, the stance, and the one main form is the chain face, the Lian Huan Quan. We only focus this first point. Rest of them, like I said, is option and also is fun to train with. So I hope you understand. So all the further training. So I hope you just try follow me. I'm going to be step four sessions, a little bit different. Second session, third session. We're going to be slowly building up the pace, building up the strength, and building up the capability. Oh, that, that pass to you. Let you build up that capacity. Okay, let's get the start of our session, everybody. Let's go. We <sighs> like it together, loosening up the hand. Fourth thing we do is hands up. All the hands are put at the front. Nice, easy. Finger relax, elbows relax, and feel the peace and the respect. Give us a second. Use inhale, bring the hands meaning peaceful and respect to your heart. Use exhale to observe them. You say full of body. And again, inhale, bring the meanings to your heart. Exhale, feel them. Again. Great. And ball. Okay, and standing up. Hands drop, relax. Let's begin our training. First, loosen the finger. <sighs> Let the breathe out. Let the tension out. Secondly, I up your heels, shaking your body. <sighs> loosen up the tension. Up again. <sighs> when you drop your body, use exhale, use the mouth. <sighs> Let the tension all gone. Out again. Up. Drop. Up. Drop. Feel the relaxation. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. That's it. Next one, we're going to warm up. Split the legs. Make yourself comfortable. Feel the body and swing the arm from a high and drop. Swing up. Drop. Inhale, go up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, go up. Exhale, go down. Like keep it flowing. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. Feel the relaxation. 
Feel the swing. Don't try too hard. Feel the rhythm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the shoulder relax. Ali, keep the body straight up. Hey, only the shoulder. That's it. Keep looking at me. Three times, everybody. In. Drop. In. Drop. In. Drop. And relax a little bit. Let the breathe out. Adjusting. Now move the arm. Keep it this way. Nice, easy. Keep the feet. Knee. Stay as possible. Move the body. Nice. Easy. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's it. Let's warm up the leg. First, we're going to up knee. Touch. You can hands touch. Make your movement more interesting and possible. Importantly, active your hips. Ha. 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 One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more times. Let's go. One, two, three. Body close to the thigh muscle. Ha, hi, ha, hi. Five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Every time, breathe out, let the tension out. Now, slowly keep moving the feet. Nice, easy. Laid by moving. Hu, ha. Feel the body. All the Kung Fu training is cultivating ourselves. Bring the mind to our body. Let the body feel the motion. Move. Ha. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need the body a little bit more warm. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and relax. Well done. Warm up after what we get our body stretch. Stretching is building up your possibility. Okay. Only stretch. Kung Fu's number one thing is stretch. Okay, first we're gonna do Zeng Ya Tui from the stretch. Shaving your body one leg forward. Make your body in the back side, hip bent, then use the hands grab on the feet. If you feel the hamstring and calf tight, you're doing the right movement. <laughs> Just keep it there. I need you to take a breeze, let your hamstring and the calf relax. Meanwhile, stretch them. Okay, I need you a little bit bouncing gently. Move the body to your, toward to your feet, gently moving 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and standing up. Shifting your body to other leg, heel forward, hip sinking back, try to grab the feet. If you can't grab your feet, grab your knee. Hold it and feel the hamstring start stretching. Try maximum engage. Let your chin close your feet. Okay, now important to take a breathe. Use exhale, relax hamstring. Observe the stretching to the muscle. Next one is bouncing gently, moving your body, building up the muscle and the hamstrings elastic power. Gently moving one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. And start it up. Now feel the leg a little bit losing. We move to the thigh muscle, the thigh stretching. Shift our body to the right. Arm helps yourself. Bring the leg back. Keep breathe. Bring the knee more back. Feel the hamstring, move the finger up to the top of the feet. Five seconds, five, four, focus, three, two, one, and change. 
hand up, shifting your body, bring the leg up. If you can try, you can use the wall, you can use the chair, help your balance. If you can try standing perfectly. Important is the stretch. Bring the toe feet back, move the knee back slightly, keep your thigh muscle more engaged. Use exhale, relax the front muscle, observe the stretch. Yes, that's right. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Yeah, shaking a little bit. Now to our body. Okay, keep leg like a little bit split, make yourself comfortable. We're going to forward and back. First, we're going to do hands up. Okay, bend your knee, put the hips, keep the body straight forward. Hands, try to reach the floor. Keep leg like straight, there's a hamstring. And bend your knee, body up, hands up. Little bit step forward, one leg, become high stance gong bu, and keep steady and body move back. Feel the body stretching, arms stretching, ribs stretching. Balance, balance, and move the back high. Come back, leg come back station, body forward, stretching forward. Take a breath, feel your hamstring, feel your lower back. Use lower back, head, relax. Yeah, that's right. Don't try too hard. Okay, now bend your knees slightly, body up. Nice, easy. The oxygen is not enough, so take it easy. Other leg step forward, keep you stable. Meanwhile, body slowly move back. You don't need to look back if you feel dizzy or lost balance. Keep looking at me, that's all fine. Stretching, arm back, amazing, the movement looking amazing, well done. And back position, and the leg back, come back center. And slowly bend your knee and body up. Keep the leg a little bit wider still. Hands up, push the side, push the hip out. Hands up, keep engaged. Feel the side ribs and top of the hip being stretched, engaged. And hold the maximum. Bring the thought, the feelings to this area to feel them, the muscle starting. Pixel by pixel. Yeah, hold. Ali, you can drop a little bit more down. Yeah, a little bit more that work. Okay, and come back. To the other side. And then shifting, push the hands out, feel the hip engage. The movement is similar, important is the quality. Feel it, breathe it, and stretch it to the maximum. You can feel your body start acting. And good, come back. Okay, now other leg step forward, high standing forward, elbow up on the chest. Keep like a high standing gumbu. Now elbow across to the knee area, match the front knee and come back. And again, come front knee, come back and continue the motion gently. One, two, three. Four, feel the spine was tending, feel the reps. Come on, come on the pace. Hey, ha, hey, ha, hey, ha, hey, ha. That's it, good. Come back to position, other leg forward. Which leg the front, opposite the elbow, go to march ac across that. Then slowly building, move. The momento, moving, moving. One, two, three, four, five. Turning, turning, turning. Three, two, one, and stop. 
That's for the body stretching already. Next one, we move the arms. Arm cross, this is the middle line, cross here, lock your elbow, push them in close as possible. More you push in, more you feel the shoulder, this area being stretched. Reach maximum hold, you know what is the maximum. Then use exhale to the area. Relax. Take the stretch into the joint. Good. And change. Other side, cross. Lock in on top of the elbow. Push in more close. Little bit more. And feel. If some of you like a device, not like I'm a manja, you guys very good. You can turning a little bit more turning. Meanwhile, push in, you can feel that. Okay, and stop. Okay, now the shoulder a little bit loosening up. Forward and back. Let the shoulder area a little bit loosening up. Okay, that will do for up and body. Next one, the head. Move the head forward, keep the shoulders stay as possible. Let the chin close forward and slowly move upward. Keep the shoulders stay a little bit up, protect you. Look up the sky. Move the eyes more backward. The eyes direct the movement. And come back. Now shoot the slide up, up a little bit, protect you, and little ear or temple area close to the shoulder. The shoulder slightly up, that's fine. Feel the neck area, muscle being squeezed in, other side stretching. Enjoy the stretching. And good, slowly up, nice, easy, and we turn the other side. Can you feel the tendon, the muscle being starting stretching? The action. Feel them. More you feel, can get more deep. And that's it. Oh, yes. A little bit adjusting. Yes. That's the one. Good. Now last one, we're going to be give hamstring, last one stretching again. We're going to move the hands from the hip, traveling down to the feet. Keep traveling, keep traveling, dropping down a little bit more. You think it's maximum already, but use exhale, relax your lower back, relax your hip. Hold there, 10 seconds. Feel the hamstring, try relax. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And bend your knee, body slowly up. <sighs> nice, easy, and recover. Good. Next section, we're going to practice draws and the foundation. Ji Ben Gong. Okay, Martin, ready? <laughs> okay, first we're going to learn is today's front kick, Zheng Ti Tui. And the stance we're going to learn Ma Bu in this fourth session. Okay. First, I'm going to show you how to do, and we, you follow me to going to do. First, it's called the Zheng Ti Tui. Ji Ben Gong Zheng Ti Tui. Look at me first. I'm going to open the hands, step in, I'm going to kick. Step in, I'm going to kick. Now I come back. If I have space, I can open, step, kick, kick. That's what we're going to learn in this side. From this side, look, step, kick, step, kick. <sighs> I'm quite happy, I'm still kind of kicking. Okay, that's good. So this is the first move we're going to learn from the kick. After this, we learn the stance. Now, first of all, everybody start to follow me. The side, by the side, stay the same side, legs together. <sighs> Hands together. Open the side. The level with your shoulder, same level. 
and shoulder relax, open the lungs, open the chest, shoulder blade area almost closing by. Now next movement, step. Left leg step forward, you kick your right leg and dropping down. Don't kick it for high yet. Follow the pace. Right leg step, kick your left leg. Then we down. We turn the other side, turn back. We do prepare again, ready, go. Hands together, open the arm. Left leg step first, nice easy. Transition your body weight, kick your right leg, keep your balance. And then your right leg step forward, kick your left leg, and stay balanced. And dropping down. Now, once we do, more awareness, which leg like you step. Ready, everybody? Ready, go. Boom, bang. Check the shoulder blade area, check the arm straight. Left leg step, one kick. Keep balance. And step other leg forward and kick. Boom. And stop. Change it again. Riding. Hands close. Boom. Open. Left leg step. Generate the power to kick your right leg. Keep leg together. And the leg, move the other leg, step forward, kick your left leg. Hey. Okay, and dropping down. One more time, and we'll see your movement. Zeng, T3, front kick. Ready, go. Smash, open. Keep arms straight. Practice your posture. Left leg, step. Kick your right leg, and leg together. Keep the central line. Your right leg step, generate the power to your left leg kick, and control back to your home, and drop down hands. Okay, now I believe you're able to do now. You try a few more times, let me look at your movement. If I can't see you from YouTube or Instagram, you do it, keep, keep it random, practice a little bit a few more times. Everybody, let's go. Try awareness your movement. The arm movement, the step, the transition, the controlling. Try a few more times. No rush. More awareness your movement. Training yourself as zoom out meditation that you can see yourself doing the movement. That's a part of a Kung Fu training. Come on everybody, keep trying. Ah, uh, Jin, that looking good. Very well done. Keep going. And try body more, a little bit control, Vasali. Body a little bit more consolidated rather than move too much. Yep. Looking good. The okay. Okay, good. Now, I quickly show you some most common things that we know and we maybe didn't know pay attention. The first we practice is foundation movement. Why we have to do one is practice your posture. In the Kung Fu mode, essence is a control balance everything. Control balance your action, your muscles, your movement. At the same time, control balance your mindset. So in this one, it's the same thing. You can do it, not only do it, but you do be in control, feel nothing happened. That's why number one, we're training. Training our posture and controlling. Number two, when you do the posture, look at my body. When I go kick, I can kick it lower. That's fine. Instead, I kick it high. You lost. So number one, keep the movement slow foot, you can kick your legs, that's fine. And second thing, open body with the hip have to be feel the separation, because there's a two part, okay? Open body don't move too much, focus on the hip working, hip working, hip working. Less affecting your open body, because more body affecting, more weight you involve, less control. 
connecting for the step. Why we step? It's a step to generate. Boom. First step is find the room. I'm sorry, light. <laughs> uh, my dislike why I move generate the dy dynamic power to the kick. That's the first step. <laughs> Boom. Right? So that is the first step. Generate the power. Boom. Kick. That's the step. Landing. After landing, lightly. Control. Right? Can you imagine in the future you will do this soft defense? See that? Step in. Step in. Step in. Boom. I'm still able to landing where we are, with, whenever I want to. That's the biggest idea. So your landing have the light ready for action again. Same leg landing, step again to kick other leg. To regenerating the power and speed. Does that make sense? Now put attention to the step. Step is dynamic to help you kick. Now everybody kick it 10 times, we move on. The body, the posture, the hip, Step. Come on, Amanda, move. Let me move. Yeah, Jay, keep arms straight. Arms straight. Yeah, that's right. And it must be taken easy. Uh, more feelings, the movement. Understand the movement and clarity the movement. Then you can have use more time to training. Learn and the training is two different things, everybody. Okay, I'm happy. Looking good. Yeah, yeah, that looking good. I like that. Okay, the first movement, me down. Okay, next movement we're going to learn is the ma bu. The fundamental things, the home base. It's called a stance, called a ma bu. Whole stance. Okay, it looks like, I believe everybody know already, but I still do my job to do it. So ma bu, boom. Ma is like the horse. We call it riding the horse. See that feet in here, this wide, gala, 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 right? So you can imagine this motion. So this is the bam. Bang, ma bu, whole stance. To understand meaning. Now what I'm going to do is that uh, first I'm going to show how big is it. Almost about three and a half feet. Use the feet in the middle. One, two, three. From here, recover. That's almost distant. Again, this is average, but not everyone. Everyone depending. If you're very high, like a pan or Alice or hands, so you can be a little bit wider. The idea is for this is to become a triangle. Your body in the central, the legs are able to support you in the middle, traveling. If you're that high, you stand like this, it won't help you. Triangle, we want to build up this uh, body mechanic, okay? So roughly three and a half feet. Next thing, the feet keep be straight on the line. This is the most common we learn, we hear a lot of things, why move feet or move wide is different. Okay, we treat the Kung Fu is stronger motion, action. You need to move very fast. They need a very strong grabbing on the floor. This is the idea like the weight lifting. Lots of people lifting like this. With lifting, look at the feet. You, you didn't see anyone living like this. Because the body alignment is working different. Mechanically, the you move the feet is hip locked, get more strong. Joint lock strong. In that side, this is a mabu idea. The feet strong lie. But I never say no, you're not able to do this. This you can do is a different purpose for stretching, for more different motion, it's fine. Okay, depends the situation. But only for marble stance, we should do this. 
we try to do this. Okay, in the later on, your feet can be a little bit wide, that's absolutely fine. Okay, the levels, the knee with the hip, perfect level, but no necessary, you can more high. 45 diagonal, always very good. The last one I need to point out is the knee. When you go, this is the position. Most time we do is the knee go. Hip didn't work. You see this? The knee over my toes, but my hip doesn't work, didn't work. This joint lost. So what are we going to do? I expect you to do the knee less moving, the hip move back first. See my knee? Less moving. The idea is the knee don't over your toes. Once you over toes, the structure has been changed. So keep that few point in your mind when you practice. Now I need you everybody start following me to do the action. Mabu. If I stay this side, I can go to measuring the step, the distance is this far. Okay, and come back again. Check again, three and a half feet, about this distance. Again. And wide, Mabu. Now, you think it's perfect, now move the hip sinking back, and open the hands, that's fine, dropping down to the maximum you can, but don't over your knee level. Meanwhile, look at me, look at me, keep the body straight up. Your hip, your knee do the work, but not the body do the work. Feel that separation. Okay, then standing up. Keep the leg wide, keep the leg wide, and do again, ready? Put attention, start asking your hip, go back. Then drop the knee down, but the knee don't forward. I just need that motion to teach your muscle. Move the knee back, okay, up again. One more time, keep it wide. Ready, move the hip back, ma bu, dun zhuang. Hip sink, drop, little bit harder now, drop, almost fall over, but on the line. Body up a little bit more, knee long. Yeah, that's it. Don't forget this. Keep there and standing up. And go back like a little bit relax. Ma bu, okay? Ma bu, the whole stance. Now we do it again. We move our left leg again to start with. Okay, ready? Move the distance. Ma bu, go. Wide. Drop the hip and down. Hold and slowly up. Keep the leg wide, shaking the leg. And again, training the hip action. Ready? Hip down, mabu, go. Hip starting, dropping down. Keep looking at me. Hey, if you nothing happened, keep ahead something, have the water or something. Right? Don't moving. If you're moving, you drop. Keep down. And up. Perfect. And slowly up. Okay, this is Mabu. Once we know we keep the structure when we're moving, that's what we call it dynamic. So during the movement in the future, you do any sport or martial art, you need the movement. Okay, so we try to keep the structure during the movement at the crack movement. Pa, pa, moving, still feel the leg as a mabu to able to supporting and transition to change the other way around. So next we practice is the mabu dynamic practice. So what we're going to do is this. Stay here, start from left side mabu, finish, change the other side. Then go other side the mabu, you stand up. Which means you go left, you can do mabu. You go right, you can do mabu too. So keep that motion. Yeah, now you can follow me, ready? We only do the left and right for now. Mabu, left, sink, and up. You can shift this way. Then move right leg, distant, mabu. And up. Okay, move left side, wide, mabu. And shifting up. One more time, right, keep the distant feet, sink. 
and up, down. Okay, now we're going to practice full and back. What I need to do, move the right leg backward, ma bu di stands, sinking down. But you aim still look at the front. We can see this is side ma bu. You see this is side ma bu. Then you go back, stand back. Okay, then what you're going to do is the same move the right leg, step forward, ma bu. Keep a look at the front. Then you come back. Focus on the right. Everybody follow me. Only move your right leg, step back, set, ma bu. Look at the target, come back. Step forward, ma bu. Look at the target, come back. Again, right leg keep moving, ma bu, back. Keep look, keep the side, that's it. And step forward, come back to the base. Move right leg again, step forward, ma bu, boom. Then come back. Keep going, do a few more times, and look at your movement. Right leg, go, back. Keep looking at me, and back, same job. Step forward, ma bu, go. Boom. Keep a look at me. And back. One more time. Everybody ready? Step back, ma bu, go. Boom. And back, central. Now step forward, ready? Go. Boom. Look at me. And back. Okay, let you like a little bit of rest. I don't want to kill your legs. Wait. <laughs> The other thing is for Kung Fu is a great thing. We are consistent. Consistency make your body and mind strong. No, just one night trying to become a master. It's not. It's a time. Kung Fu is a time and effort. Uh, effort. So remember, we just keep a little bit by little bit, but every day that'd be amazing. Okay, now before we change, try to explain to you why we practice the movement. Step forward. Or step back. Okay, you imagine this is in the self-defense mode. Okay, this is my target. Move my back leg, it's become a mabu. It's for defense. I lead all the distance. This is the defense. Whoa! It's a training your stance. Keep the distance. Alright, of course, in the reality, we don't need that law. On reality, that's it. It's a mabu. But when training, we make training harder and make life easier. You're training hard, life easier. Okay, so why we go to forward? See, this is a target. You can forward, forward, ma bu. This is a close by target. Make sense? Back, defense, forward, close by. Okay, every time you do, you don't lose the target. Look at this. Okay, it doesn't matter how you move. You spy, your eyes look at target. Right? That's why I would like to put attention on this. Okay, now, last time, everybody do five times dynamic mabu, forward and back. In total, 10 times. Then we move on for the next one. Come on, we have thing to go. Yeah, condense, so Keep practice, only this a few things. I know it's a bit tired, but the Kung Fu is always conquer yourself, encourage yourself, sometimes even a little bit tired. Do it. Come on. <laughs> Think about what I just said. Keep the meaning for the movement. Your meaning will lead your energy. You pour this water, pour this meaning on, your energy, your emotion will be differently. You pour the defense, your body feels the defense. You keep having fun, they have fun. Okay, that's it, I'm good. Good, stand up, please. Now, if you really need a drink, you do drink, so please, just take one minute. If you don't need it, relax a little bit, take a few breaths. We're ready to go to the next section. Next session we call the Quan Su in Chinese or Tao Lu. In English we call the form 
or maybe in Japanese form called kata. I don't know. I don't know how many move name on outside of there, but roughly you understand. And here we call the quan su. Quan is the empty hands technique, a forms technique. Quan su. Okay. Now today we're going to be learn force five or four movement. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate you first. Give idea, and then you follow me. Okay. Force movement. So a form we call the lian huan quan. Chen fist, lian huan chen. Okay, I'm going to start from here first. Watch me first. Okay, at this side. Okay, okay, this is a demonstration. I didn't mean you have to try it like this, but at least give us some idea what it looks like. Also, today we won't learn that much, only halfway. I can't stop myself. Actually, we only learn here, that will be enough for today. Okay, every session we little by little practice. So, end of the program, we're done. Okay, now I need you to follow me, please. Stand a little bit side of the right side. <sighs> Hands relax. Adjusting your breath. Adjusting your mind. Then shift your body. With your shoulder same level, hands grab, elbow back. Next week, step your left leg and left arm, shifting. Become a mabu, you just practiced. Block. Focus the left leg, left arm. Turn your back feet, become gong bu chong quan. Gong bu punch. Next move we're going to be kick punch. Step, kick, punch at the same time. Land. Step forward, ma bu. Punch. And stand up. Don't worry if you don't see very much. Keep following a few more times. I will show more details in the future. And again, now it's full motion. <sighs> Just breathe, mind. Ready for position. Yubei! Move the feet. Elbow attack, defense back. <sighs> left leg, left arm moving the left direction, same time. Become block. Mabu block. From Mabu block, change to Gumbu punch, pulling the hands back to the top of the waist and the punch at the same time. Meanwhile, we'll check your back leg is straight, front leg is bent. After this, when you shift your body up, slightly move the feet and for kick and the punch at the same time, lying down. Then the step at the forward again become a mabu. Step in mabu. Punch. Yeah, again. One more time, everybody. Move left leg, elbow defense, bang. Elbow more close by, top of the hip area. Move left leg, left arm, become ma bu, block. Step, block. Keep your body center line. Gong bu, punch. Keep the leg, front solid. And shift the feet a little bit, become kick, punch at the same time. Your right leg, your left arm, land. Step in ma bu. Ten body, punch it, ma bu punch. Okay, good. 
Now try gather this information. You maybe no clarity. You know sure what should be or should do. But now I need you bring the logic outside. Just training your feelings, your gut feelings. Even you don't know, try start it. Practice gave you three times. From beginning to the kick punch. I don't expect you know them. I expect you to do it. Even it's not right. Go. My image, you imagine my image. Keep thinking hard. Don't stop there if your the thinking is empty. Keep thinking, keep thinking. Keep feeling, keep feeling. To active your intelligence. Don't only rely on me. Yes, keep trying, dig them out. One more time, one more time, come on. Okay, good. Okay, relax a little bit. Okay, in olden days in China, we doing the training Kung Fu. It's basically the master showing you three times and then you do it. Um, I'm not sure now, but in the, in the before. So you have to be try figure out or try dig yourself, try to think about how to do it. If you can't figure out, you maybe get a little bit kick or a little bit reminder. <laughs> oh, you ask someone help. But what I mean, I want to keep the essence. The idea is this, at three times, usually your mind should be cut you on. Usually, but of course, everybody different. I didn't mean 100%. But this idea is that active yourself the mind, the muscle to thinking that way. It's exactly something like a positive thing to thinking. If you imagine the GPS driving the car, right? We usually every day use the GPS. You won't remember the road, go back home because you rely on that. But if you back the 10 years ago, no GPS, you might just figure out to remember the road where exactly you go home. So that's memory activity. So in this training, we want to keep the essence. It's not I don't teach you, I want you to practice. Okay, just understand we're on the same page. Okay, next one, I'm going to quickly point out some very important area. So you pay attention, okay, you see as well. First I'm going to do is, I think that you can see, is the meaning of the things. First start, adjust, your state, your breath, your physical feelings, relax. Bring your mind back to your Dantian area, start the preparation. The more the state is different, then you're doing differently. Second, when you go, building up your energy up by preparation, mm. the energy, the focus suddenly mm, engaged. The mode is high performance mode. The second movement is a defense block. You go forward. The motion dramatic, you bang block. But at the same time, keep the board in control. See the mabu in control. But sometimes what we do is because you block, your whole motion go there. So you lost control. See the balance. So that need to be. Doesn't matter, you do, you do, you do, so the body is in the central line. Okay, that's number one, most important thing. Doesn't matter where you're going to block or low block, high block, keep the body there. The next one is the power. Exchange. The forearm, back, back arm is exactly the same time, become change of power. So pulling the front arm back to your waist, top of the hip, and deliver the power. Yeah, pull, punch at the same time. For the breeze, huh? hum, hum, hum. When you hum, hum, close, power in the gauge of your abs, hum, the breeze is traveling here. Rise the breeze, hum, power, zing, go up to your punch. 
Hum! Stomach punch at the same time. Okay, that's the breathe. Huh? Hum! Movement sharp, breathe sharp. Okay, that's it. The second thing you need to part is this. This is the axle, axe. <laughs> I'm not sure. The heel, the knee, the hip, the shoulder is like a turning motion. There's a pole spinning in the spine area. Most thing is you do this like this. Look. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's other. But remember the power being shoo, not forward. Does it disturb your balance of power? Swing forward. So it doesn't matter how much power I go through, I'm still here. <clears throat> we don't want that. You see the body mechanic? Yeah. So keep the body, boom, still in the central, ma bu gong bu in the control. Next one, kick a punch. Kick a punch. The front arm pulling back. The same time, boom. Like you work, work. Different, different arm, Jay. Right arm, kick, that's it. Then landing. You see this? Back leg here, you kick, and boom, boom. This kick, we mostly in here, we're trying to use your heel, no the flaking. This is very helpful. When you go, look at this. Use your heel to kick. Note use the toes in this particular form. See this here? Boom! Use the heel. The highest, no over your tummy area. The maximum in the tummy and the groin area and the thigh muscle. So this is the area you're aiming for. Uh, here, this is target. Boom. Boom. The arm assist. Boom. To go for. Okay, now, this one you do already. It's the last one. Last one you do is step in, become a mabu. You just practice stand. Boom. The step forward, lead, spin your body from this direction, boom, to other direction. That's how the power coming from, from face front, become face the side or the shoulder side. Use the spine spin to generate the power. If I from this side, see here, face this way. My shoulder was back. My shoulder deeply forward. This is how the power coming forward. <clears throat> that's it. The leg landing force, then body shifting. Okay, that's the important thing I want to pass into you. Now you give you two more times, practice awareness, what I just said, from beginning to there. Okay, let's go. This class is learn and train. After this class, your homework is going to be trained. Different, yeah, come on. Think in the body. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Keep just bring your mind into yourself. Just think about the movement. Think about the hands, the position, the weight.
Okay, good. Now, let me do, lead you for three times. Follow me, please. Everybody follow me. Three times for today. Lian Huan Quan, Chen Fist. Preparation, take a breeze. Ready, preparation one. Keep the leg. And two, Ma Bu block. Check the balance block. Number three, Gong Bu punch. Check. Number four, kick a punch. Number five, step forward, Ma Bu turning punch. Boom. Yeah, again. Ready? Carry for me. Lian Huan Quan, Chen Fist. Preparation, breathe. Yubei, one. Two, block. Three, punch. Four, kick punch. Bang. Five, step forward, Mabu punch. And finish. One more time. Ready? Lian Huan Quan. Breeze. You buy one. Hang. Two. Hang. Three. Hang. Four. Hang. Five. Hang. Okay, and stop. Okay, good. Listen up. Okay, this is the first session. A lot of things in there, you can only write it down, remember them. Again, we're teaching you in a short time, make all the combat condensed, but you still need space, time to practice. No practice, only no, doesn't work. It's not belong you. So this class I teach and explain to you most important thing. Rest of you till next time you come back, next Thursday you come back, I give you some homework to do. You keep practice, this is your main training in the next seven days. So what you're going to do is I need you kick practice. Okay? Zheng Ti Tui. Each leg, I need you kick at least 100 times till next week. Only this kick. I mean, you can practice other things as well, but this is the main thing. The second one you're going to be practicing is the Ma Bu. Boom. And boom. Left, right, forward, back, back, here. Stance, same again. At least you move from 100 steps. Okay, one step, two step, right? Three step, four step. 100 steps, 100 times of a marble. Okay, next thing I need you to do 50 times. At least, that's what I mean, at least. From one, two, three to here. That's your practice station. You can just practice it in 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Okay, please do it. And next week we can follow this one, keep Latin going up. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining me. And I'm looking forward for next class. Okay, next Thursday at the same time. Thank you guys, hands up. And boom. Well done. <laughs> Keep up the hard work, all right? Don't forget training. See you next time. Thank you, thank you. Good work. Well done, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well done.